Hey guys, today I'm going to show you some saint makeup. I need your honest opinion. I'm doing my own research. I have some good friends of mine that are involved with saint makeup and they're professional makeup artists and I trust them. Years ago, I used to sell Silpata and I didn't make any money off of it. I was my own best customer. I have a lot of nice silver jewelry because of it. What I realized was I wasn't a good seller. If you came to me and you wanted a product, Absolutely, I'd be more than happy to show you what I had, show you a catalog, sell it to you, no problem. But I've never been one to go after sales. And I love the way that my friends have handled me. They've introduced me to the product and that's it. And they share information on YouTube and on TikTok and Instagram. And I've been watching it, but it hasn't been in my face. They've never said, here, Julie, watch this. Here, Julie, you should do this. They've never said anything like that. And I love it. I love that about them. I watched a friend of mine's video and she described the whole system of Saint Makeup. It made me feel really good about the brand itself. The way I feel about a multi-level marketing company is if you treat the people who are doing all the work for you well and they get paid and you get paid and it's a good product, then I don't care. I don't care how it's getting sold. Anyway, this is long-winded, but I have the makeup on today. In this video, I'm gonna show you what I do. It'd be pretty straightforward. And I'm putting this to the test. And I also just really honestly wanna hear your opinion. Do you like the look? Does this style of makeup interest you? All of your opinions are gonna help me decide whether I go ahead and buy the introduction kit and go ahead with this business. So I really would appreciate your honest opinion. All right, let's get going here. I already have moisturizer on. I'm gonna go ahead and put my sunscreen on. I've been using the K-Skin Isle Glow Face Lotion and this is an SPF 45 and I've really been liking it. I have a video showing a side-by-side -side that I have to edit showing this one compared to the Super Goop Glow Screen and there's quite a difference. Both are really good, but I keep reaching for this one more than the other one. But I can't forget my nose. Let's talk about foundation for a second and talk about the different finishes that foundations have. There are people that like a glowy finish, there are people that like a skin finish, and then there are people that like a matte finish. Typically, people with normal to dry skin will either go for the skin finish or the glowy finish. And oftentimes, people with an oily skin are gonna go for a skin-like finish or a matte finish. I am that type of person that kind of likes it all, but generally, I go for something that looks more like skin. So I'm gonna try Saint out again, and I would describe this as a skin finish. I know that there are a lot of people out there that have heard that this is very heavy, and I've seen people demo this product and it looks like it sits on top of the skin. But what I have heard from all of my professional makeup artist friends that work with Saint is that it took them time to figure it out. So I'm gonna to try to figure it out again. I have used it before and I really liked it. I went out to dinner with family members and asked them how my skin looked and if they could see makeup on my skin and they said, no, it looked great. So that's really important to me. From watching everybody, what I'm learning is that a little bit goes a long way. So I don't know if you can see that I've just touched it ever so slightly. This is a stiff synthetic brush. Let's see. So I'm dragging this right where I need it. And I actually feel like I could have mixed the two. But I'm gonna mix a little bit of the peach in now. Cause I find that a little bit light. There we go. And I'm going to put it right in the corner as well. Cause I want that lifted. And I have a little fleck, there we go. I often will do that after I apply my eyeshadow just to make sure it's all clean. And then I'm gonna tap it in. You know, I get so excited about new makeup and I wanna try it all, but I do find that there's a certain part of me that just goes, oh, I don't need all this. Like I'll buy it and I'll show it to you guys in a video. And then a lot of the times I don't use it, like I'm only one person and I don't need all of the stuff that I'm buying. So it's making me feel like I'm not making good choices, but obviously for me, I'm trying to earn money and I'm trying to build my channel. But at the same time, there's this little voice beside me saying, do you really need all this? Like, should you be spending the money? What happens to all the packaging? And so that's why I'm trying this again. Cause you know what? If you are interested as a viewer in seeing products like this, if you're interested in Saint, I wanna know. I wanna find out if it's really good. I don't wanna recommend something to you that I don't believe in and wouldn't use myself. So let's give this a good try. All right, well, that's nice and bright. This peachy color is gonna correct the blue tones that are under my eye. 
So that's why I mixed it in. In fact, I probably could have gone directly with that one. It just depends, but I like the brightness that this has created, so I'm happy. I'm gonna take this peach color and go right over top of these hyperpigmentation spots right here to color correct those areas. That's in my hairline. Nasty little things. That's years of me trying to look like my mother. There are a lot of women that really love sheer coverage. I want to get these covered completely, so I may use more makeup than another makeup artist who doesn't have the sunspots to worry about, but I do, I want that gone. So I have these four colors. One is a contour, one is a bronzer. This is a Luxie brush that I've had, but it's nice and short and dense. So I'll be able to pick up product and really blend it in. I'm gonna go into this color first and try to get rid of that. First video that I posted of me using this, I did that typical thing that you see where they just swipe the makeup on and that was too much. It looked great by the time I was done, but I don't need that much. I'm gonna change the brush and go into the lighter color here. This is looking very pretty. I'm a ginger, I have dark freckles, I have redness, I have yellow, I have pink. I have so many colors going on in my skin. So you'll see me using it maybe a little bit different than somebody else might because if I use too light of a color over top of my freckles, they look ridiculous. I need to play with my makeup a little bit more. So in here, I'll go a little bit lighter, kind of like a reverse contour. And up here, I'll use the darker color. So I haven't even dipped into these darker colors yet. And you can already see that I have shape just by proper placement of the light foundation versus the dark foundation. I have more redness in here and on my nose around here. So I'm not gonna go with the lightest one. I'm gonna go with this one, oops. And again, I'm just touching it. I'm not digging. I'm actually listening to the advice of the women that I'm watching on YouTube. Primarily Michelle Spieler is who I watch. She's a friend of mine. She's constantly saying a little bit, just a little bit. Can you guys see close up? This side versus this side. Now I'm gonna go into the contour and we'll see what happens. I am now really curious what color this is. Honestly, I often don't use a contour at all. I have enough shape here. But let's just see what this does. So this color is called Olive. And I generally don't go in past this area here. So it's from the corner of my eye out, up to the top of my ear. A little bit goes a long way. I generally don't contour my nose. If anything, I will pop it on a little bit right at the tip of my nose because our nose grows as we age and I want it back to when I was 20. <laughs> Just my nose. I also never do this, but I see them doing that all the time. And why not? Let's make myself have a poutier lip. I didn't even do anything on my forehead yet. Now for the bronzer, this is called Bella. Look at me learning the names and I'm just tapping it in, I'm not digging. I shouldn't have done this concealer. I should have just done the one side. See, these videos are never planned out. It has to feel organic for me. And this is what it is. I'm using olive here, but I think honestly I could use the bronzer. Either one is fine. All right, let's go in with the bronzer. Yeah, I like the bronzer. I don't even feel like I need a highlight, but I'm gonna play with it just to see. Oh, I forgot blush, huh? <laughs> oh, silly me. You don't always have to wear blush, you know. Sometimes I just love the bronze look. Pretty. Let me just put that right on my brow bone too, why not? Ooh, I'm gonna do the whole thing. I'm gonna put the highlight all over my eye. I'm liking this idea. I'm gonna dip into the contour and the bronzer together. Just tapping, and I'm gonna use this as my eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the same colors underneath as my eyeliner. I love this look. I sometimes, just to play, will put a little gloss on my eyelid to make it shiny. And this gives that dewiness without adding a shimmer. Not that I'm against shimmer, I love shimmer. But that's kind of cool, the effect that this gives. Now for the blush. I may have to put more on my brush, but we'll see. No, I don't think so. Just depends on how much you want, right? 
some people like more than others. I was actually happy without blush at all. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush and go into this color. That's a lot. I'm gonna have to take some of that off on the back of my hand. There, you can definitely see that more. A little bit goes a long way. Easy to blend though. I've been having such an issue with my pores in this area, especially if I use any kind of prep that has a shimmer in it. That's what I'm noticing about the glow screen and about the K-Skin, although I really like the K-Skin, so I'll just deal with it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of pore filling primer right there. That took it away and it didn't separate the foundation at all. I have done that in the past and it ruined my whole entire makeup. Right in here has been bothering me and right here bothers me. I'm gonna set it with powder. We'll check it out another day without powder and see what happens, but today I'm going somewhere and I want it to really stay put. So I'm using the House Labs powder and just setting where I need it. Like, look, these things just grr. That is my problem. How am I gonna fix that? So yeah, how am I gonna fix that? I need a stronger application here. I'm just gonna put it on, but that ruins my bronzer and my blush. Okay, that covered it, but now I gotta go back and put my bronzer on. Let's see if it removes it. Slightly, the more I touch it, the more it's visible, you see? You know what, I'm not out for perfection. I am 51 and it is what it is. It bothers me, but I know nobody else is really looking at that area. Unless you're a makeup artist. I've been using a lash serum from Olaplex and I'm just not sure about it. Sometimes I think it is working and then I look at this eye and I'm like, what's happening? They're just so much shorter on this side than on this side. And I'm not a side sleeper when I'm sleeping, but this area here just doesn't seem to want to grow. Well, now it's making a liar out of me. I think I've used better serums though. If you guys have a good lash serum that you like, let me know in the comments. So I bought a new Maybelline lip gloss that I wanna try. I have tried it actually, and it looks pretty. Let me know what else you like to watch. Do you like more high-end? Do you like more drugstore products? Do you like more of indie brands? I am here to help you, and that's what makes me feel good. It's not a popularity contest for me at all. I don't need you guys telling me I look good necessarily, although it's nice, but really, you know, the best compliments that I've gotten are, you seem so kind, you seem so genuine, I love your spirit, I love your energy. Those are the best compliments that you can give me because it means more to me than anything to do with my looks, truthfully. I'm not always gonna look this way and my energy and my kindness is gonna stay forever. So it really is the best compliment to me. I have two different colors here. I got 005 Petal and I've got 006, which is Reef. I feel like I wanna add a little bit of color considering I don't have a lot on my lid. I'm gonna try it without lip liner first, show you what it looks like. Oh, the smell is so good. It feels like I'm on a vacation. I don't need a lip liner, do I? You know what? I'm just not gonna use a lip liner today. I think that looks really pretty. I know the lip liner would help it stay longer, but that's okay. I don't mind reapplying today for what I'm doing. So I'm gonna set this with a little bit of powder. Now that I'm all done, before I head out, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of highlight on my eye. This is by Bobbi Brown and this is the Quartz Glow. And I'm just gonna put some of that on just to make sure it doesn't crease on me. I'm not saying it will, but I'm going out and I wanna make sure that it stays put. And it really didn't change the look anyway. It just will, it's just gonna ensure that it doesn't crease. It may not have, but I don't wanna risk it. All right now I'm done. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me throughout this video. And like I said, honest opinions. I really need your help with this. Um, I'm gonna make my own decision ultimately, of course, but if you're not interested in it, then why bother? So leave your comments in the comment section, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you like my content. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.